Hi guys and ladies, I found a new product for making low carb tempura batter and I'd love to try it on some freshly caught fish. If we can't get any, don't worry, there's plenty in the freezer. So let's try some ice fishing from the comfort and safety of our shelter there on the dock. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. That noise you hear is a Coleman lantern. It not only gives off light, but more important today, it gives off heat. It's only 12 degrees outside. So this is what I'm going to use. It's just a little ice fishing lure and on it are a couple of very small mealworms. I'm going to drop this to within six inches of the bottom. I don't know what it is. It's fighting like crazy. Oh no, he's wrapped. There it is. It's a perch. <laughs> That's a nice perch. He wrapped him. He wrapped himself around the the uh, pillar. Oh, oh. Hey, at least we're getting weeds back in the lake. That's a good sign. You know it's cold out there when you see that ice built up on the line like that. Got a little bass. <laughs> this is the size that most people return, return to the lake. But the biologists who did a survey here said, I have to remove them. There are just too many this size. And besides, two good fillets are on there. Frankly, I'm amazed I caught even two fish. I'm fishing in only like five feet of water instead of the usual seven. You see, the lake is down due to the drought. I got one. I got one. <laughs> wow, another baby bass. All right, that's three. Those three fish give us six fillets, plus what I have in the freezer, plus some other things. Well, we have enough for our tempura recipe. Let's get back to the house. Okay, I caught only a few small fish, but they gave us six ounces of nice fish fillets. And looky here, I've got a pound of big shrimp. Wait, there's more. I have a bunch of onion rings. And last, I've got a bag of low carb tempura batter mix. Let's see what we can do with it. All I'm doing is drying out our onion rings. I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator for a half hour. The directions are really contradictory here. Let's peel these guys right down to the tail. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not, but I'm gonna try to dry the shrimp out. I want the batter to stick as well as possible. Let's do the same with the fish. Okay, here I've got ice cold water. It's a two thirds cup plus one quarter cup. I'm doing a double recipe of this batter. I don't want to run short. Here's a beaten egg. I'm going to add that. I'm going to whisk it. Ice cold water and egg. Now I'm to add one whole cup of this uh, tempura batter plus a quarter cup, double batch. Now we'll whisk again. This time I'm going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder. <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm just going to refrigerate this for one half hour. That's what it says. I might as well let you all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over here for dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm so honored to host such a celeb. Well, we've been seeing each other for more than 50 years now, yet for some reason she seems to shun marriage. Hmm. 
where I always see the positive of marriage, she seems to just see the negative. But maybe tonight I can point out more positive. I'm gonna put some peanut oil in this cast iron skillet. I'm out of peanut oil, so I'm just supplementing it with olive oil. We need an inch. Never having done this before, I don't know what I'm doing. So let's try it anyway, you know? You have to be brave and just try stuff. I'm gonna dunk this. Wow, that batter is thick. Let's give this onion ring, X ring, a shot. Now my oil is 360 degrees. At least we'll have uh, onion rings, maybe. Well, they do look good. They, they sort of look tempura-y. So I'm gonna flip them. Donuts, anyone? <sighs> Let's get them out. They look good, though. Let's try the shrimp. No more fooling around. Let's flip them. A piece of fish. Let's give it a try. Just until they're a nice golden brown and then we remove them. I'm going to try an onion ring. It's mainly the batter that I'm interested in. Let's see. Flaky and crunchy. Good so far. Oh, yeah. Hey, these are delightful. Oh. Mmm, I know the shrimp and fish will be good. It just needs a little salt, that's all. Oh, oh. I should have made some dipping sauce, but I will. I'm going to try one shrimp. Mm. Mm, I dropped it. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. Oh, you're going to love this. I'm going to try a little fish. Hmm, crispy outside, of course. And look at that. Very tender inside. Just add a little salt. Woohoo! Wonderful. Hmm. <laughs> well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you for stopping over and dining with me at my uh, pitiful prefab. Mm. You're welcome. And you had a chance to uh, partake of my onion rings and fish and shrimp. And what did you think? I thought it was delicious. The really? The tempura batter was excellent and it was light but tasty and mm. everything came out very well. Thank you I very much. I thought so too. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Miss Cheeks? Oh, I, I may call you Lulu now? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, thank you. you. You know our friends Frank and Jane? Mm. They seem so happily married. You know, I heard that he still opens the car door for her. What a nice gesture that must be. Yeah, yes, I heard that too. But you failed to mention they were going 70 miles an hour. Oh, uh, can I have a hug? Mm.